Hey guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at travel gear and the item we're going to be taking a look at is the Power Packer from a company called Side by Side. And so if you've watched the channel for a while, you know that I absolutely love organizational pouches. Anything that has kind of elastic bands or little compartments to keep all the accessories that I carry with me on a day to day organized, I love trying them out. And so, you know, we've had a lot of different items on the channel that you may remember. So I've constantly featured items like the BagSmart cable organizer and the in-case accessory pouch in a lot of my daily videos. This is what I've been using the most consistently for a long time now. We also featured an organizational tech pouch from a company called Nomad Lane. And this was really great as well, especially for holding kind of bulkier items. As you can see, it's a little bit larger. And so I hadn't heard of side by side before. But I was really intrigued when the company reached out to me to see if I wanted to test out their power packer. And so as I was researching it, I just saw that it had a lot of really unique features that I hadn't seen in other organizational compartments. I just really liked the overall design and the shape and you know, just the way the pockets and the compartments were laid out was a little bit different than any of the pouches that I'd tried in the past. I've actually been testing this out for the past couple of weeks on a few different trips and on my day to day. And I have to say, I've been really impressed with how well it's been working. I think it does a great job in finding kind of that middle ground in being big enough to hold some bulkier items that some of the pouches that I typically carry have a little bit more trouble with, but also still maintaining a small enough form factor to be able to be convenient to use in a variety of different bags and that to just not take up a lot of space, especially when you're using it with a travel bag or something like that. So overall, I've been really impressed with the Power Packer as I've been using it, and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. You know, this is another company born on Kickstarter, and I'm really excited to just kind of be able to help, you know, spread the word when cool new items like this come out. So I really want to thank Side by Side for sending over the Power Packer. It's been really great to use so far. So let's just go ahead and dive in and take a closer look at the Power Packer by Side by Side. So just starting out with the overall look and aesthetic of the Power Packer, one of the things that immediately stood out to me was just the form factor. You know, I hadn't ever really had an organizer that was a little bit more of a longer style like this. Typically they've been more square. So I really like just kind of this slim look that it has. It makes it really easy to fit in a lot of different places in my bags as I'm using it on a day-to-day -day basis. And so as you've seen in a lot of the other videos that I've done in the past, I typically have these two pouches with me, right? I have the BagSmart cable organizer and the in-case accessory pouch. So the BagSmart cable organizer is really useful in that it has, you know, a lot of little bands and pockets and stuff for memory cards and cables. And so this is typically where, where I have all the slimmer and smaller items that I carry with me on a day to day. But for some of the bigger items like a Belkin travel adapter or mice or something like that, that don't fit as well into the BagSmart cable organizer, I typically use this in case accessory pouch. And so it's always kind of bugged me that I have to use two different pouches to hold all the things that I want to carry with me on a day to day basis. So I've tried some other pouches in the past. I really think the Nomad Lane uh, tech organizer is a great pouch. You know, it's really big. It holds all the bulkier items that I want to carry with me on a day to day basis, but it's also a little bit, you know, big. It takes up a lot of space in the bag. And so it's a little bit of a compromise for holding everything that I want to use. And so what really stood out to me with the Power Packer, especially as I started filling it up with all the items that I wanted to carry with me, is kind of that it manages to find a nice balance between all those other pouches. So it's not quite as sleek as something like the BagSmart Cable Organizer, but it holds bulkier items that that item was, is able to hold. And it's also not quite as big as something like the Nomad Lane Organizer, so it doesn't take up as much space in my bag. So as you can see, here is the Nomad Lane Organizer, and here is the Power Packer. And so even though they can be about as thick, this is a lot slimmer. So it takes up a lot less space in my bag. Now, obviously the Nomad Lane organizer is going to be able to hold more stuff than the Power Packer. It's going to be able to hold my Beats headphones. If I wanted to, you can fit an iPad in this thing. So it really depends on what you want to do. And this is a great organizer in itself, but for what I typically need on a day-to-day -day basis, it's a little too big. And so, you know, I wouldn't want to put my headphones into something like the Power Packer, but all the other items that I struggle to fit into one pouch typically, it's, it manages to hold really well, which is what impressed me so much. And it's so it manages to keep everything in just one package, making it easier to move between bags, especially when I'm trying out a lot of different daily bags. It becomes such a pain to move, you know, both of these items. And then on top of that, there's some items that I don't keep in either of these pouches that are just in other pockets of my bag. So as you can see in the footage here, it's a lot quicker to just have this one item to pull out as opposed to having all the other multiple pouches to move from one bag to another. So I really think that the Power Packer has done a good job of helping me simplify how I pack all my modular accessories. 
And so, you know, it is a little bit thicker than the BagSmart cable organizer, as I mentioned. So, you know, if I'm using a more packed out bag or I don't need to carry as many bulky items with me, I might still switch back every once in a while. But overall, for um, striking a balance between capacity and being sleek, I think the Power Packer really hits a great balance between the two things. And so, you know, just before I move on to the inside of the bag, I just want to talk about the materials a little bit. So this is made out of a really durable feeling kind of polyester. And so, you know, it feels really sturdy and thick. It has a really nice handle here on the outside. You can see their logo here on the metal buckle. And so this is really nice for pulling the bag out, especially when it goes to the bottom of my bag, I can just reach in and grab it. And so I'm not sure if the zippers themselves are YKK, but they do feel really high quality. As you can see here, they, are, they have a nice little seal here to give a little bit of water resistance to the zippers. On the outside of the bag, there's this kind of stretchy material here which is what allows the bag to hold those bulkier items in these outer pockets. So that's a really clever kind of solution because when you don't have bulky items in these compartments, it kind of just shrinks back down to a sleeker size. But if you need to put something bigger in it, as you can see here, this is coming out a little bit. The bag expands to kind of mold to the item that you're fitting into the pocket. So the one thing I haven't fully tested out is just the water resistance of this elastic material here. To me, it seems like there's some room for water to kind of creep in if you were to leave it kind of soaking. But if you're just in a quick, you know, light rain and running around, I think that overall the bag would do a good job of keeping everything pretty safe. And so just diving into the compartments, the bag has a ton of different organizational options, much like the organizers that we've looked at in the past, which is what makes me like it so much. I'll just start with the outside compartment first. So the bag is split up into kind of just one kind of bigger outer compartment that holds the bulkiest items. And then on the inside, it opens up into several different sections with a lot of different elastic bands. So first I'm gonna start out with that outer compartment. And so this has kind of a three quarter opening. So the compartment itself goes the full width of the bag, but it doesn't open all the way and that you know that works nicely it's still really easy to grab everything and so here's as I mentioned where I have some of the bulkier items that I would want to carry with me on a day-to-day -day basis so power bricks for example would fit in here nicely so here I just have an Aki power brick with two USB ports and the collapsible prongs I really like this this is super useful I also have the charger to my MacBook Pro. I don't have the USB-C cable with it in this compartment, that's inside, but it's nice that the brick fits comfortably on the outside. And then here is a, one of the bulkiest items that I carry with me that I typically have to have a separate pouch for is my Belkin travel size surge protector. This is one of the coolest items that I have with me typically on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, I take this to coffee shops and whenever there's limited plugs, it's really nice to have this. It allows you to have three full-size plugs as well as two USB ports. So a really useful item. And unfortunately, it is a little bit bulkier, so typically it always presents a bit of a challenge when I'm trying to, you know, pack everything into one sleek organizer. And I really love that with the power packer, I'm able to just put it in there really easily and it fits comfortably. And so, as I mentioned, you know, this, this pocket is really useful. This kind of stretchy material here, this is where the bag really differentiates itself from a lot of the other items that I've seen in the past. You know, you can put a lot of stuff in here. Just really flexible, and as I mentioned, when you don't have anything bulky in there, it just compresses down, and so, you know, it doesn't take up space, and it just maintains its sleek form. Moving on to kind of the main compartment now. This is the one that opens up flat. As I mentioned, really high quality zippers here, very easy to open, it's all very smooth. And so there's a few different sections to this organizational area of the bag. So here's where it kind of has all those elastic bands that I really like that bags like the BagSmart Cable Organizer have. I really like that it has a lot of different size elastic bands, you know, so if you have something a little bit bulkier, you have options for that. So here on the top side, there's two bigger elastic bands. And as you can see, there's, there's still a little bit of give here. So the items are slightly looser than I would want, but I didn't put really bulky items here anyway. These probably would have fit fine here, but I just kind of ran out of space. And so what I have here is my multi-port cable from Chiffon. So this is awesome. It has all the ports that I typically need. It has a lightning, USB-C, micro USB. So just a really nice kind of Swiss Army cable to carry with me on a day to day. On the other side, I just have a pair of wired headphones. Nothing too crazy. These are actually from Amazon. These came with the Fire Phone way back when that phone was still in production. And you know, they've been a really nice pair of wired headphones. I really like how they magnetize and attach to each other. I typically use AirPods, but I like to have a wired pair just in case. And so, you know, I really like these elastic bands here. Behind that, there's actually a separate elastic compartment here where you could put, you know, bigger items like a portable hard drive, or a power bank or something. I actually am not using it for anything at the moment just because, you know, as with any 
bag or organizer that has a lot of pockets. If you try to put something in every compartment, the bag tends to just get too full. It becomes really tight to close, and I really just don't like that much pressure being applied to the zippers. And ultimately, I just don't need to carry that much with me. So I'm fine with leaving this empty for now, but you know, it does expand out a little bit so that you could put something a little bit thicker in there. Next up, there is a place to put a stylus or a pen here in the middle. So currently, I just have my stylus that I use for my iPad. It's a really unique stylus here. I really think it's one of the most responsive, especially that isn't like an Apple Pencil or one of the ones that you have to charge. So this has been a really nice stylus to use. And I also really like that it doubles as a pen. So, you know, just a great slot there. As I mentioned, if you are traveling on an airline flight and you need to fill out some custom forms, you can just have this at the ready and pull out your pen really easily. So really nice to see that there. Next up, the other side of this compartment has four smaller elastic bands. So these are a lot of the similar accessories that you've seen in the videos that I've done in the past for the bag smart cable organizer and the in-case pouch. And so I have a headphone splitter by Belkin. I have my lightning to HDMI adapter for my iPad for when I'm traveling and I want to use the big screen in a hotel or something. Here I just have a really cheap and simple phone stand so that I can you know, prop up my tablet when I'm on an airplane. So I really like how slim this is and it works well. And then as I've been traveling more with my MacBook Pro, I have my um, USB-C kind of hub. So this has an HDMI port and a bunch of other connectors. And so I just really like how this offers everything that I would need for my new MacBook in a really sleek package. So always try to have that with me as well. And here you can see just the bands as they're empty. So just really high quality. These really feel like they're going to hold up well over the long term. They have a nice kind of tightness to them so that you feel like the items are going to stay in place, which is really nice. And this little section here feels pretty padded. It's got kind of a nice soft padding so you kind of feel like your items are going to be protected well. And so there's actually one more area behind this flap here. So I'll just flip over. And what we have here is a few more uh, smaller bands for some smaller accessories. So what I have here is just, you know, a regular USB drive. And then I also have a USB-C to USB 3.0 adapter. You know, with my new MacBook, it's always nice to have a ton of these lying around. They're really cheap, but really they work really well. They're from Aki. And so there are two of those kind of smaller slots there. And then there's these little pockets here, which I think are meant for SD cards. So I just have one uh, kind of SD card adapter here for when I'm using a micro SD. And then the only other SD card that I would typically have, I'm actually using in, in the camera currently to film this video, but it would fit in here very nicely. And then this is a really thin slot here. I wasn't sure exactly what would fit in here. So I have this SIM tool to just kind of, if I'm traveling, swap out my SIM cards between the phones that I'm carrying. And so, you know, that fits in really well here. The bag also has a small mesh zippered compartment here. So it's really nice that it's mesh so that you can actually see what's in this compartment. And this is where I kind of put anything that I thought was too small to be held by one of these elastic bands. So, you know, in here, I just currently have my um, headphone adapter for some airlines that don't have just a, regular 3.5 millimeter jack and then I also have my uh, just another USB adapter this one is really cool because it has a lightning port so it plugs into my phone and into my iPad so that I can you know just move stuff between my computer and the phone without having to go through iTunes and then of course I have my lightning to headphone jack adapter I'm currently using an iPhone 10 so no more headphone jack so unfortunately this is something I have to carry with me on a day-to-day -day now and so really nice organization. I really like how well thought out everything is. You know, I was able to close the, ba the bag really easily no matter what, how everything was distributed. I really like too that there's a name tag here on the inside. So if this were to ever get lost and somebody opened it, they can just uh, see some of your personal information and try to get in contact with you. And then the last section we're gonna look at here is kind of this area with a few bigger bands. So this section, like the first one that we looked at, has kind of this elastic material here. So it's another section that would be good for putting some bulkier items. So I suppose I could have put the MacBook charger in here as well, but I just liked having this area just for kind of the bigger cables that I carry with me on a day-to-day -day basis. So in the rightmost one, I have the USB-C cable that attaches to the MacBook charging brick. So this is what charges my MacBook. So I definitely want to carry that with me. And then here I just have a regular lightning cable to charge my phone. Again, this would combine with the block that I had in the first compartment from Aki, the one with the two USB ports. And then the last cable that I have here is actually an auxiliary cable. Uh, this actually is for my Beats headphones. So when I'm traveling on a flight and I want you know, to just have a little bit better pair of headphones and I wanna plug in and watch the movies that they offer there, this works really well for allowing me to use my Beats on an airplane. And also if the Beats run out of battery, I like to carry these with me so that I can continue to listen to my music as I'm moving around on my day to day. So just really nice to kind of have this and I really love 
how well organized these kind of bigger bands help keep these cables. You know, these are cables that were pretty big. It would have been hard to fit all the cables in this section here, even though there were bands that might have held them. I really like the separation that this offers here. And I like, as I mentioned, that, you, that, that it has this kind of stretchy area. So if I did want to add something bulkier, I definitely have the space to do so um, with kind of these larger cables. So overall, I think the bag offers a ton of great flexibility on the different items that you can pack and also how you can pack and organize everything. So I really think that it was a very well thought out. It feels like it's going to hold up well over the long term. Kind of all the materials that are used in here feel pretty durable. So just really great job and I'm excited to continue using it and finding new ways to kind of organize the different items that I like to carry with me. So overall, I've really been enjoying testing out the Power Packer over the past couple of weeks. I think it's been a really great organizational tool and it really helps keep all the things that I carry with me on a day to day very organized and easily accessible. I really like the form factor, especially when compared to a lot of the other organizational pouches that I've used in the past. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, I think it does a great job of kind of finding that balance between being sleekish and small, but still being able to hold a lot of different sized objects. So really clever implementation here and just overall very useful and makes it so easy to move from one bag to another. I just really love all these cool little organizational pouches that have been coming out recently. And I think the Power Packer really stands out by how unique its design is and also the quality that it brings. It really feels durable and like it's gonna hold up over the long term. Currently, you can buy the Power Packer from Side by Side site for about $39. And I'll make sure to include a link to where you can get that in the description below. And you know, I think that you know, this is obviously a little bit more expensive than some of the organizational pouches you'll find on Amazon these days. There's just so many you can pick from and so many companies offering you know, kind of their own spin on the organizational pouch genre, I guess. And so I do think at $39, the Power Packer is a little bit more expensive than some of those options. However, it does feel more durable. I do feel like it's gonna hold up a little bit better to more rigorous use. And I also like just kind of the, a lot of the unique features that it comes with. So just the form factor and a lot of the way the pockets are laid out is not something I've seen on some of those more affordable pouches. So, you know, it just really depends what you're looking for and how much quality you want out of your item. And you know, $39 is not unreasonable, especially when you compare it to something like, you know, the GORUCK field pouches, which are 55 or $65 a piece. And you know, those are really good as well and really well made, but they are very expensive. And then, you know, also the, um, tech organizer that we looked at from Nomad Lane was about $80 or something like that. So there, you know, there's a very wide range of prices for these sort of pouches that are coming out. And so I think that, you know, the Power Packer itself at 39 is kind of in the middle range of all those. And I think that's a really good place to be, especially for, you know, how good of a quality it offers and the unique features that it has. You know, as I mentioned, a lot of the pouches that I look at tend to kind of blend together just because, you know, at the end of the day, a lot of them are trying to do very similar things and there's not as many ways to differentiate themselves. So that's why the Power Packer stood out to me a lot with just kind of the different shape that it had and, and the way the pockets were laid out. You know, it was just something that I hadn't seen before. And I think that overall it's been really useful. And so if you guys are looking for a high quality organizer that's going to help simplify your digital life a little bit, I definitely recommend you guys take a look at the Power Packer on Side by Side site. I want to go ahead and thank the company again for sending the Power Packer over for me to test out. It's been really great and I'm really happy I was able to share it with you guys. If you guys found this video useful, please go ahead and give us a like below. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And thank you guys so much.